Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Please do not forget to like and subscribe. So in today's video, we are going to do a little bit of price estimation. Now, just to give you a summary of the tender process, right? After a quantity surveyor has finished compiling the bill of quantities and all the necessary tender documents have been finalized, the call for tenders is made to contract. Now, after attending a site briefing and getting information about the project and what it entails, interested contractors will purchase the tender documents, sum up with a bid price, and return all the documents to the client, architect, or quantity surveyor for consideration. In order to come up with the bid price, the contractor would have to work out a unit rate for each item in the bill. The various elements that contribute to the total cost of an item of work are labor, plant, materials, profits, and overheads. Now, I do hope that you do enjoy the video. And if you have any questions, do leave your questions in the comment section and I will get back to you as soon as I'm able to. Do enjoy. This is a typical example of a section in a bill of quantities, right? The trade there is earthworks, right? That is earthworks and it's measured provisional. Now, this is usually the first trade in the bill of quantities and it deals with site clearance, excavations, filling, etc. Now, the reason I'm showing this to you is because we are going to work out a rate for the first item, which is excavation in earth not exceeding two meters deep, including trimming sides and ramming bottoms. Now, the rate that we are going to work out or come up to, we are going to put right there next to our quantity, which uh, the quantity surveyor determined for our trenches, which is 21 cubic meters. Now, to estimate the rate for that item, we first need to consider all the cost aspects associated with the item of work. Now, to ascertain the cost aspects, the contractor or estimator would have to study the specifications given to him. Now, from reading the spec, we can extract the following information, right? That's excavation in earth, not exceeding two meters. So the first thing that we can see there is that we are going to be doing some excavating. Now, excavating basically involves the ground being dug up and thrown out so that a hole or trench may be formed, okay? The second item there is that we're going to be trimming our sides. That's just leveling the sides and ensuring that they are uh, perfectly leveled. And the third item there, or the third activity, will be ramming bottoms. Okay, now basically we are going to work out a net rate, right? Now our net rate will be made up of the following labor activities, deaths, dig and throw out, that covers our excavation. The second one will be trim sides, and then the third one will be level and ram bottom. These are the drawings that we are working with basically. Uh, they form part of the tender documents that you have received, okay? Uh, this is very simple. I made it very simple so that we can easily work out our dimensions and easily know where what is coming from, right? It's not a complicated structure uh, or anything like that. So that is our plan view and then this is the detail for our uh, foundation, okay? So we can see there that our excavation depth is 730 okay and then our concrete uh, or the width of our excavations is 700 and then yeah i think that's the only information that we need from that detail there and then here we have uh yeah the plan it's 15,540 by 5,540 so now you're basically sitting in the office and you've been asked by the contractor, your employer, to come up with or to build up a rate for uh, the excavations. And you have these drawings in front of you. Now I'm just going to quickly uh, do this. Right, that will be for our horizontal and then for our vertical. I'm not going to go into detail uh, with 
this and explaining it because in the first video that I posted, I think I went into detail um, when it comes to working out your center line and so forth. So I'm not going to go into detail. 1,540 times 2, all right, and then the total V. Is forty two thousand one hundred and sixteen. And the thickness of our wall there is two hundred and seventy. So we will use the formula two. We're going to deduct two times four times zero point five times two hundred and seventy, which gives us one o eighty. Now our cross center line is going to be that total minus that which gives us 41,080 so that's our gross center line now to find the total volume of our excavations that has been worked out by the QS already it's 21 cubic meters but um, yeah I just need us to work these out and then I'll get into the reason why I, I I needed for us to work it out. So for the volume of our excavations, we will take our center line, which is 41.08. We will multiply it by the width of our excavation, which is 0 0.70. And then we will multiply it as well by the depth of our excavation, which is times 0 0.73. It gives us 20.9, and I'm gonna to work to those two decimal places. So it's okay that way. We have cubic meters. Okay, that's in cubes. All right. Perfect. Now, when we get to the total area of our sides, that now means that you're working with two dimensions, so it's not cubes. All right. So we'll take the center line, 41.08, and then we will multiply that by 0 0.73 and this is to the sides right it's like how you calculate for your risk of collapse so we will multiply by 2 because of the two sides and then we get to 59.98 this is square meters okay now total area of bottom same story we will take our gross center line we multiply it by the width of our excavation, 0 0.70, then that gives us 28.76 square meters. Okay, these are basically just our preliminary calculations. Now, the next thing that we need to do is have a look at our labor constants. Okay, so the labor constants we're going to use for our trench dig is 2.75. For trim sites, it's going to be 0 0.071. For ramming, uh, uh, it's going to be 0 0.50. Now, the labor constants that I will be using, I got from credible sources. I did not just make them up. So our trench dig, like I said, 2.75, 0 0.071, 0 0.50. I just want us to go to our rate buildup and to put these down. So our labor activities, right, we said will involve dig and throw out. And then we said trim sides. And then ram and level bottom. Okay. So for dig and throw out, we know that it is three oh sorry so for dig and throw out we know that it is 2.75 cubic meters sorry 2.75 hours per cubic meter for trim science you know that it's 0 0.071 hours per square meter
And then for Raman level bottom, we said that it is 2 hour, 0 0.5 hours per square meter. What we are trying to get to, what we are trying to determine is a rate for one cubic meter. Now, in order for us to be able to do that, we are going to determine the total cost for 21 cubic meters. And then after having determined that cost, we will divide it by 21 in order to be able to get the cost for only one cubic meter. I want you to note something here, right? Uh, as you can see, our trim sides and rem and level bottom are in square meters. And because they form part of our excavations, which are in cubic meters, it becomes very necessary to ensure that all these items are in the same unit of measurement. Okay, so starting with our first uh, calculations there, we will have 2.5. 75 hours we said it's per square meter so it means 2.7 2.75 hours our laborer is able to excavate one cubic meter and now what we're trying to find out is how many hours would it take for our laborer to complete 20.99 cubic meters remember we said that we we would work uh according to those decimals decimal places all right I just wanted to underline this quickly. Okay. We have that would be equal to two two point seven five hours times twenty point nine nine cubic meters divided by one cubic meter. And that would give us a total of 57.7 hours. Now these cubic meters cancel out one another. Okay. That means that we are only left with hours. Now when you get to trim size, we said that it's 0 0.071 hours. Okay, or how many hours does it take to complete? We worked out, uh, we worked that out to 59.98 cubic meters. Sorry, square meters, 59.9 square meters. That's the square meters. Okay, so now we would have that, therefore, equal to, we would have 0 0.071 hours times 59.98 square meters. divided by one square meter. And that would give us an answer of 4.26 hours. Same thing, the square meters cancel out. All right, now let's get to RAM bottom. Right, so we have 0 0.5 hours equal to one square meter.
day for unknown. Uh, we came up to an answer of 28.76. So we would have 0 0.5 hours multiplied by 28.76 square meters. divided by one square meter. Perfect. That will give us an answer of 14.38 hours. All right. Perfect. So what I am just basically going to do is I'm going to take the table from Word and then place it here of our calculations just to make it easy for us to um, refer to our calculations. And there you have it. So for excavations, it's 37.7 hours. I just want us to put our units down. So our units for excavations and hours for trim sites, hours, and then that one as well, it's hours. Now for our excavation, it would take us 57.7 hours to excavate uh, 21 cubic meters right, of our trenches. So we go 57.7 hours. And then for trim size, the hours that we have there are 4.26 hours. Okay. And then we have 14.38 hours. All right. Now, in order for us to be able to get it for, or to get an answer for 21 cubic meters, oh, sorry, let us put down our rate, and I said our rate would be 30 rands, 54. Our contractor is quite generous, so, yeah, 30 rands, 54. There's another source where I saw for 2018, the rate is, the rate of 2017, the rate was um, 28 rands, 23 cents. So, yeah, we'll just go with this, okay? 30 rand 74. Okay, uh, let's just get our totals there. It will be that, sorry, times that to give us that. And we'll just uh, do that, okay? Perfect. Now, the total that we have the total cost for, total cost for 21 cubic meters. Twenty one cubic meters, that would be sum of all these items there. So that's for twenty one cubic meters. Now total cost for one cubic meter would be equal to that cost divided by 21 cubic meters, which would be 111.02. That's the total cost for one cubic meter of excavations, include, excluding sorry overheads and profit. All right. Now let us add our overheads. Okay. We're going to make our overheads 5%. Really, um, it is the contractor to decide the percentage of his overheads. Overheads, remember, are off-site uh, expenses. So it would be 5% of that, okay, times that there, which gives us 555. And then let's just get the total, All right? That would be of that plus that which gives us 116.57. This is our net rate. Okay, that's our net rate. And then to our net rate, we are going to add a profit of 10%. Our contractor has said 10% is perfect, all right, for our items. So we will go 116.57 multiplied by 10% to give us 11.66. And then the total cost, okay, or, or the unit rate, or the unit rate, the unit rate per cubic meters. All right, so now we are there. 
unit rate per cubic meter would therefore be equal to I just want us to move this to let's see. The unit rate per cubic meter would be equal to that plus our profit, which gives us 128.23. That is our uh, gross rate. If we take that unit rate, uh, we go to our earthworks and then we place it next to, let's go rate build up, place it next to our. Uh, trenches and then to get the amount we would go 21 times that it is equal to 2692.79 and that ladies and gentlemen is how you go about working out the unit rate for the item excavation um, in earth in pickable material now, if you want more exercises on this type of work, please do mention. And um, if you don't understand something, do leave your questions in the comment section and I will try to get back to you as soon as I'm able to. If you liked and enjoyed the video and learned something, do give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, then do indicate. <laughs>